So yeah, anyone else forget this album existed? <laughs> So hello and yes, welcome back to another album review guys. Um so yeah, Jefflin's Long Wave. Very random pick for me to review this album today. Um basically I was listening to Alone in the Universe, the song, not the album, because I've heard the album so many times. It's, it's, it's this one right here. Um I was listening to a song of the album today and I thought, oh, I kinda wanna review this. The album now. But I said when I started my Jeff Lynne reviews, when I'd done Armchair Theatre, I said I was going to go in chronological order. So I'd done Armchair Theatre, then I'd done Zoom, uh, like solo studio albums that Jeff has done since he left the Yellow. So I'd done Armchair Theatre and then Zoom. So before we get to Armchair Theatre, we need to do this one. So I thought, you know what, I'll get that one out of the way with today. Um, but before we get on with the review, I've got a couple of things to say. Um, number one being, um, for those of you who go on my channel, you can see at the bottom I have recent uploads, popular videos, and I have album reviews and um, final updates. Um, and I always like to keep my album reviews um, in that album review section and my vinyl updates in that vinyl update section. But for some reason my last vinyl update wasn't added to it and I can't add it for some reason. I don't know whether YouTube have done another one of their dumb updates. Um, we'll see. So this album review might not actually end up in my album review folders. It's just going to end up in my um <laughs> recent uploads um so for that i'm not sure guys i don't know how to fix it i'm sorry it's probably youtube and another one there dumb updates um and second off i also wanted to say a humongous thank you to everyone who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel um and i've always said this it always really means a lot to me because i never ever thought i'd get the following or the the, the, the views of the, the people that come here that i do um, when I started, even today, I'm still surprised that people are coming here and watching me. It's just an honour and I'm so grateful for it. Um, because the channel did just hit 4,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing. I can't believe it. I'm, I was ecstatic when it happened. Um, it was, it's incredible. Um, to say I've hit 4,000 subscribers, I know to some YouTubers they, 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 that's not a big number, but to me it's a huge number. It's absolutely massive. So thank you so much, guys, to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe. It really means the world to me. Um, I am going to be doing a contest to celebrate it. Um, and I know some people might say, you've got 4,000, why do you need to do a contest? Um, it's actually, you know, it's. I just want to have fun with you guys. I want you guys to celebrate with me. Um, some people have been asking for another contest. I know some people really enjoy it. Um, so I will do a small contest where the winner can win a record. Um, when things get quieter for me, because at the minute my free time, as I said in my last video, is nearly non-existent at the minute, so I'd have no time to watch videos um, really at the minute, so it's um, I'm going to do it when things get quieter for me. So hopefully in a couple weeks or so I should be able to start my contest. It's going to be a small one. I'm not going to go all out and do anything big, like, hey, it's going to the whole, you got the whole month, it's not going to be nothing like that. It'll probably be a small little two-week one where you got to make a five-minute video, just something small. Um, but I'm definitely going to do a contest um, at some point to celebrate 4,000 subscribers. Um, but nevertheless, <coughs> I've rambled for long enough now. <coughs> so let's get started with this album review. Um, so before we go over, start talking about this album, I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to give a bit of information on the album. We're going to go over each track individually, mark each track individually out of 10. I'm going to show you my copy of the vinyl record. We're going to mark the artwork for this album out of 10. Um, and then we're going to run up all the scores given, so there's 12 tracks on, there's 11 tracks on this album, and the 12th mark for the artwork, and divided by 12, um, and we'll get an overall marking for this album at 10. Um, so yeah, when reviewing this album also, I'm not going to say, hey, this song is amazing, because this is a covers album of classic songs going all the way back to the 30s. Um, you know, there's some absolutely incredible songs on here. By right, all of these songs are 10 out of 10s or you know, not far off it. Um, but I'm judging it purely on a covers basis, how well Jeff has done at covering them. So if I give a classic song on here, not a high score, it's not towards that song. It's towards how well Jeff has done at keeping that song alive and fresh. Um, so yeah, as I say, if I batter a song which you absolutely love, like the original version of, I'm not battering the original version of that song. I'm going against Jeff's. Um, not saying that I dislike them all. Um, 
But anyway, let's get started. So this was Jeff's second solo album under his name after Armchair Theatre because he copped out with Zoom and put Electric Light Orchestra on it, which is weird because it's not the Electric Light Orchestra. So technically it is his third solo outing, released on the 8th of October 2012. Hit number seven in the UK, which is quite good considering Armchair Theatre did not do well under his name. 133 in the US. I think it's fair to say that Jeff's not the most popular guy out there. Um, so yeah, this is Jeff covering songs which he grew up listening to when he was in Birmingham. As a young boy, he used to listen to people all the time, like Roy Orbison, of, and of that nature. So a lot of the songs come from that kind of style. Um, it's pretty much an entire Jeff album in terms of the instruments. Richard Tandy is on here doing pianos, I believe. Or, but other than that, it is pretty much Jeff. Um, so anyway, let's get started on the songs now. I'm not going to talk about the originals too much because I want to focus on Jeff. So if I don't bring up the original version or the original artist, don't shoot me. Uh, but anyway, it opens up with a track called She, which sets the tone of this album well, I think. that It is going to be a pretty generic album because the song is quite generic. Um, other than the style that Jeff chooses to sing on this one, this is the most adventurous he is on this album, I think, in terms of vocals, um, which is weird to have the opening song like that. Um, but I like the vocals, they're good. The second verse is a lot more fun where it picks up. Um, uh, but the production on the vocals are a bit muffled here. It's almost like the vocals have been pushed to the back of the mix. So all the instruments come over the top. They use, of course, drums and they're using the feathered drumsticks, which suits the songs really well, a lot of them on here. Um, but it kind of washes out the vocals, I find, for some reason. Um, it's a good song. It's I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because I think it's a decent cover. It's, it's an okay cover. Um, but it is pretty generic. I think if this song come further back in the album, it would probably get a 5. Um, it, it just sets the tone well, I think. And we move on to a track called If I Loved You. Um, which is no change, really, from the first song. I mean, obviously, the... Um, chords are different and the pacing is a bit different but this song feels very similar to the first song in terms of structure the instruments that are used it just almost feels like these songs gel into one another she and if i loved you um <clears throat> and again i kind of have similar feelings towards this one um however jeff's vocals do not suit this song very well i don't think um which is a shame because jeff adapted really well on sheet and he does on a couple other tracks on this album um but yeah this is a pretty forgettable song on this album don't get me wrong the whole album is um unfortunately a bit forgettable but this song especially on this album i'm gonna give it a five out of ten it's not bad it's not a bad cover but there's nothing there that stands out to me which is why i'm gonna give it a five and then we got a bit of a peak on the album here with uh so sad which is a nice change in pace um, the vocals are a lot better on this song. They don't actually have that cloudy, muffled feel either that the production's giving off. Um, the doubling works really well on the vocals. That's probably what does it, to be fair. <laughs> uh, because there's another song where the vocals sound quite clear as well. And that's the closing track. But we'll get to that. Um, so the doubling of the vocals works well. The guitar and piano play off each other really well. This is the first time I'm really hearing the instruments work off each other well. It's hard when it's not a band doing an album. When Jeff's doing all the instruments himself, it's harder to make the instruments play off each other. And he done it very well on Zoom, and he does it very well on Alone in the Universe as well. But for this album, it all kind of blends. However, this song's so bad, it works well. Um, I'm going to give this song a 7 out of 10. It's a very good cover. I enjoy it. And then we get what is potentially my favourite track on the album, Mercy Mercy. And I've heard a lot of covers of this song over you know, my years of listening. Most famous cover of the song I think that people know is probably Rolling Stones from their third album, I think it is. They covered it, um, which is where I was originally introduced to this song. Um, but this is the best cover of it. Yeah, I prefer this to the Rolling Stones version. Uh, the guitar sounds awesome. Jeff's vocals are amazing on this song, really good. They can't. They, this is where he sounds really ELO-ish as well, which I, I love. That's what I want. When an artist covers songs like this, when artists do these American songbook albums, I want them to make them their own. Um, and Jeff kind of does that here. 
Um, the chorus is a lot of fun as well. I'm going to give this song an 8 out of 10. I think this is a great cover, a great adaptation of this song. I think Jeff does a very good job. And in closing side one, we've got Running Scared, which is a good attempt at Roy's vocals is what I'll say. Roy Orbison's vocals are very hard to capture. You can tell, you know, we all know Jeff absolutely adored Roy Orbison's work. Um, so there's no surprise that there's a Roy Orbison song on here. And he does a pretty good job, to be fair. You really get a mix of ELO and Roy Orbison here. It's really cool. I like it. Um, but the build-up of the song is captured well. And a relief when the build-up finally is released, because we all know how this song goes, um, is handled very well. It's just very short-lived, which is a shame. I think it could have gone on a bit longer. Um, but the closing vocals are amazing from Jeff. Um, I'm going to give this song a 6. It's, it's a good cover, but um, I've heard a couple other covers which I prefer. And of course, still always rather go back to the original on this track. Then we're moving on to side two, where we open up with Bewitched, Bothered and Bewildered, which is a nice slower song, which is kind of what we needed, to be honest, because the last couple of tracks have been a bit faster. Um, the, or the pacing has been faster. When I say faster, I mean more rocking. Um, it's been a bit of a faster pacing. Um, so it's, it's nice to get a slower song. It's a really well-produced song, this one, but it's a bit flat and a bit... Boring, I think. Um, it doesn't hold up compared to other covers I've heard of this song. It's it's just... And again, the vocals sound very, very flat on this one as well. And they've been really washed out. I, I think the production on this album, you know, it is produced by Jeff, is focusing a lot more on the instruments and the vocals, which is a real shame because Jeff's vocals are very good at times here. Um, but he really likes focusing in on the guitar piano and the, the feathered drums uh, which is fair enough but I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 then we got Smile which is side 1 and side 2 of this album feel identical as in she and If I Loved You sound almost the same in terms of the styling and the production and the instruments that used and Bewitch, Bothered and Bewildered and Smile it's a complete repeat on side 2 they sound almost identical in terms of the production and the sound of it um, there's only subtle bits in it which, you know, make the songs kind of stand apart. Um, it has a nice fashioned guitar solo, um, I guess. When I say fashioned, I mean it is meant to sound very dated and a very, like, 40s sounding guitar solo. Which I like, that is the best bit about Smile, it's the thing that makes it stand out from other songs, I think. And I like the drums, but again, it flattens out the vocals a lot. And I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Smile is... It's, yeah. It is what it is. Then we got At Last, which... Great, great vocal performance from Jeff. It picks this album right up really well. Um, the strings sound amazing on this one. Reminds me of old yellow days when Jeff would really bounce off the strings. Um... And it, it works well in the song. It actually gives this song a lot more character to it than the previous two songs. So I'm going to give this song a six. Okay, three more tracks. We're nearly there. And we got Love is a Many Splendid Thing, um, which also does doubling of the vocals um, here, which works really well. However, they do sound cloudy still for some reason. They, they didn't on So Sad, and they don't on the closing track. But here they still sound a bit closey on the doubling, which is weird. Which I don't get that. Um, but anyway, it's an enjoyable effort. It's a it's a fine song. It's I haven't got much to say on this one. I'll give this a six as well. Then we got Let It Rock, which of course is a Chuck Berry cover, and it seems really weird because every other song on here is kind of a jazzy styled song. But this is a rock and roll song. We got a rock and roll song going here, and it's so short. I'm not sure there was any point of even bothering to do this. I know the originals are short song, but this is so forgettable. Um, it just seems out of place. Uh, the guitar on it is just okay. It the production on it is not. Nothing really sounds too clear on this one, other than the pianos. The pianos are the best part. They sound great. I'm going to give this song a 4 out of 10. I've heard covers of this song before and they're all better than this one. 
But then we close on Beyond the Sea, which has always been a personal favourite song of mine. I mean, like, in general, I love that song. And Jeff does a fantastic cover of it. It's great. It's a proper jazz number, and Jeff's rocks it up, which I love. He's made it his own. It's great. Um, it's the most original song on here. Um, the guitar sounds great. Jeff sounds like he's having fun fun because he doesn't on certain points in this album and I think that's the point of doing a covers album you're having fun you're doing songs you love um and he doesn't sound like he's having fun a lot of the time on here uh, but he really does on this song the vocals sound clear they sound great the song isn't short either a lot of the songs on here are short I know that the original versions of these songs are short but I wish a Jeff would take them further make them his own um this song here he's gone a bit lengthy with um, when I say lengthy, it still is under four minutes. Don't expect anything too long. After all, this album is only 22 minutes long, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it's a good song. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now let's take a quick look at the vinyl record, and then we're done. Because I can't lie, this album review, I kind of am just doing it so I can get to Alone in the Universe. Um, but anyway, I like the cover a lot. Jeff is there. He's just, he's just lurking about like a serial killer um, with a guitar. Um, but I love this cover. It's a really cool cover. In the back cover. Uh, it is a gatefold, but I haven't taken mine out of shrink because um, there was no need because it's not tight at all to get to the record. And I like leaving them in shrink. I know some people are going to be like, oh, enjoy it, get your gatefold. I like leaving them in shrink. They just look nice. And yeah, here is the vinyl. Really like the labels. And of course, got a nice white pressing of it. It looks really nice on white, actually. White suits this record a lot. Um, so I'm going to give the artwork for this album a 7 out of 10. It's a nice, it's a nice looking record. Uh, but yeah, so what I've done is I added up all those scores and divided it by 12 because we got 11 tracks. And then of course the 12th mark for the artwork. And out of 10 this album is going to get a 6.1. So yeah, as I say, it's a good album. It's fine. I, I always look at 6 as that. It's, this is an, it's an enjoyable album. So I'm happy giving it over a 5. 5 is always the middle for me. Anything below a 5 is bad. Anything above is good. So I will say it's good. It's not much more than that though. It's 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 a fine listen. It's good. Um, I think Jeff could have done better here. Um, and I really want to see Jeff put more effort into his albums. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping he will with his next one. Because Alone in the Universe, you know, without spoiling anything. Because... As I say, I do want to review that album again. Um, you know, that's a short album as well. And it's all kind of similar sounded on that one in terms of that one's a lot more rock. This is obviously a bit more jazzy. Um, but yeah, it's it's an okay listen, this one. It's fine. It, it is what it is. I don't go back to it much. It's, it's there. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Goodbye, bye bye. Selling.